Well, Monday will be a historical day with a rare solar eclipse coming up. People will need to take precautions to help maintain their eye health while safely viewing this as a spectacle. That's right. Dr. Stephen Palti, Chief Medical Officer for United Healthcare of Georgia. He's joining us now to give us some safe viewing tips. Dr. Palti, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, we've been talking about this over and over. I mean, everybody is going eclipse crazy right now. Uh, but the need for proper glasses when you're checking out the eclipse. Uh, we know it's unsafe to look at directly at, at the sun at any time uh, during a partial or a total eclipse. So tell us about the importance of using these proper glasses and even more importantly, how to find them. Right. Well, it is very important to protect your eyes during the solar, solar eclipse and uh, the, the point is to, to use adequate uh, protection with specific glasses that will block those rays that may damage your eye. Um, the glasses that we recommend are much have a much stronger tint than regular sunglasses. And the way to, be, to ensure that you have the correct glasses is to look on the side of the package for the IOS stamp. That's the International Standardization Organization. Uh, that ensures that they do meet the requirements uh, for for viewing the eclipse. Okay, great. Dr. Paul, it's also not recommended to add other devices such as uh, cameras or a telescope or any other optical device, correct? So uh, tell us what can happen if people still insist in doing this. Right, yeah, so obviously it's, it's very tempting, you know, when you see the eclipse through those glasses to, you know, maybe take out your cell phone and, and take a quick picture. But it's really important not to do that because that can really concentrate the rays and negate the effect of the, of the glasses that you'd be wearing and could then cause damage to the eye. So it is very important that, you, although it's very tempting not to do that. Uh, now, it's important to use some caution during the moment of actual totality. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Well, for the very short, if you're in an area where there will be totality, for the very short period that there is totality, um, uh, it is theoretically safe to take off the glasses. But again, you don't know exactly when that is and, and when the movement will start moving away from totality. So we recommend that you keep the glasses on um, the whole time during the eclipse. And if you're in an area where there's not totality and only a partial eclipse, then obviously keep the glass. It's very important to keep the glasses on all the time. Very important. Indeed. For sure, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, and if someone experienced some eye discomfort or vision problems following the, the solar eclipse, uh, what should they do? Well, if, if you have any concerns about it or if you did perhaps take off the glasses uh, unwittingly during, during the event, uh, it's very important that you consult your um, eye care provider so that they can do a proper examination and look at the back of the eye where the potential damage may occur. Now, uh, personal question, uh, Dr. Palti, what are you going to be doing for the eclipse? Well, I, 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 the office where I work, they have a, 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 what you may call a little party set up on the top of our parking deck, and they are going to provide us with the necessary glasses to view the, the eclipse. All right, well, that's perfect. All right. All right. Uh, I think we're going to get about 76% totality yes. here in our yeah. area, so uh, definitely still going to be quite the show, mm -hmm. but wear the glasses of that uh, above all. That's the main importance. Uh, Dr. Palti, we appreciate the time with you and uh, thanks again for all the information. Thank you. Okay, thanks for having me. All right, uh, yeah, tips. be ready for it and get the right glasses. Uh, in Georgia, the partial eclipse coverage, that's gonna reach Atlanta, uh, about 81% totality. They'll get that at around 3.04 on Monday afternoon. Uh, here in Augusta, like we said, it'll be about 76%, and that will be at 3.08 Monday afternoon. If you're in Columbus, Georgia, um, it's about 78%, but that'll be a little bit earlier, just a few minutes earlier at 3.02 p.m. Yeah, that's All right. right. All right, so, uh, yeah, get those glasses and get ready for it, okay?